Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a comic book style cartoon from a photo. This tutorial is an update that I did quite a while ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. Open a photo you'd like to use. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock.com. Keep in mind, the photo size and resolution are important in that they directly affect how your final image will look. For example, when we use the color halftone filter later, this is how it looks when the photo's resolution is 150 pixels per inch, 300 pixels per inch, and 72 pixels per inch. To ensure that your final image will look like mine, do the following. If your image is already cropped, go to Image and Image Size and make your image approximately 1000 pixels in height and its resolution 150 pixels per inch. Its width can be any amount. If your image isn't sized and cropped like this one, open your Crop tool and click on the Width, Height and Resolution. In the Width field, type in a temporary amount of 1000 px for pixels and for the height, also type in 1000 pixels. For the resolution, Type in 150. Now, drag your photo to a position you like. To crop the width, highlight the amount, and hold down your down arrow key on your keyboard. To reposition it, just drag your image. To crop it more, go to a corner of the crop tool and drag it. When you're happy with your photo's size and position, Click the check mark at the top or press enter or return. To fit your image back onto your screen, press Ctrl or Command 0. To check its size and resolution, go to Image and Image Size. As you can see, its height is 1000 pixels and its resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Make two copies of your photo by pressing Ctrl J on Windows or Command J on a Mac twice. Name the top layer Color Halftone and the layer below it Poster Edges. Click off the eyeball next to the top layer to temporarily hide the layer. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. If you don't see it because you're working on an earlier version of Photoshop, I'll tell you a workaround in a minute. Open the Artistic Folder and click Poster Edges. I'm making the Edge Thickness 2, the Intensity 1, and the Posterization 2. For earlier versions of Photoshop, go to Filter, Artistic, and Poster Edges. When you're done, click OK. To make your subject's eyes pop more, we'll add comic book sized reflections on the pupils. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Let's zoom into the eyes to get a closer view. Press Z to open your zoom tool and drag over the eyes of your subject. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the center of the highlight on the pupil and hold down Shift and Alt on Windows or Shift and Option on a Mac as you drag out a small circular selection. We'll fill it with white and since white is the background color Press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. To make one for the other eye, copy the reflection by pressing Ctrl or Command J and drag the copy over the center of the highlight on the other pupil. To fit the entire image back onto your screen, press Ctrl or Command 0. Let's merge the eye reflections with the poster edges layer. To do this, press Ctrl or Command E twice. Next, we'll add a cartoon border. Double click the thumbnail of the poster edges layer to open its layer style window. Click Stroke. Click the color box and pick White. Then click OK. Make the size 23 pixels and the position inside. Click Inner Glow and the color box. 
pick Black and click OK. Change the blend mode to Normal and the opacity to 100%. Make the choke 100% and the size 25 pixels. Then click OK. Let's increase its color vibrancy. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Vibrance. Drag the slider all the way to the right. Make the color vibrance layer visible and active. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and color halftone. Make the radius 6 pixels and keep the screen angles at their default amounts. Then click OK. Change the blend mode to soft light. Click the new layer icon to make a new layer. Let's name it Talk Bubble. Open the custom shape tool and invert the foreground and background colors. To do this, press X on your keyboard or click this icon. Choose Pixels. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, click this icon for Pixels. Open the Shape Thumbnails and click the gear icon to open your list of shape presets. Click Talk Bubbles and when you see this warning Click OK to replace the current shapes in the thumbnail window with the talk bubble shapes. For this example, I'll click this shape, which is called Talk 6. Click the gear icon at the top, tick Unconstrained, and check from center. Drag the talk bubble to a size and shape you like. It fills with white because the foreground color is white. For this image, I'd like this part of the shape to point to the subject's mouth so I'll go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate 180 degrees. To reposition it, press V to open your Move tool and move it. Double-click on the thumbnail of the Talk Bubble to open its layer style window. Click Stroke. Make the size 4 pixels and the position inside. Then click OK. We're ready to add text. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a cartoon font. I'm using Yikes Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in the video description or project files. For this font, I'll make its size 40 points, sharp, and center alignment. Click the color box and pick a color for your text. If you want to pick up a color from your image, just click on the color, then click OK. Click on your document and type out your text. To adjust the spacing between your lines of text, highlight the lines and go to Window and Character. The Character panel will open. Slide the Letting icon to the right or left to move the lines of text further apart or closer together. I'd like to italicize the characters, so I'll click on the faux italic icon. To close the character panel, click the double arrowhead icon. To reposition your text on the talk bubble, open your move tool and move it. Next, we'll add a stroke and a drop shadow to the text. Click the FX icon and choose Stroke. Click the color box and pick white, then click OK. Make the size 5 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. Reduce its opacity to 25% and make the angle 135 degrees. Make the distance 15 pixels and the size 0. Then click OK. If you'd like to angle the talk bubble and text, Shift click on the Talk Bubble thumbnail to highlight it as well, and then open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. To angle it, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like. To move it, click inside the Transform and drag it. Then press Enter or Return.
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.